Hey Gifty Gang, it's Shiana Janae and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you've been stalking my channel, why are you still? Girl, go on, subscribe, hurry up, hurry up, okay? Yeah, make sure y'all tap that notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload a video and give this video a thumbs up. Let's hop into it real quick. So as you saw in the, the title, this is for the girls who like chocolate. I, I don't know how to do the insert the SpongeBob clip, but that's where we were going when I was saying that. Let's move on. So I have 10 fragrances that have chocolate in it. Some are prominent, more prominent than others, but you know, you get the gist. So if you wanna see my chocolate fragrances, just keep on watching. Now, you know I have to start off with the best chocolate fragrance that I have ever smelled, like ever, Choco Musk by Al Rehab. And this is cheap, honey. This is real cheap. Now, the prices, the girls have caught on, so the prices went up, like, at first, it used to be like $6, then on Amazon, it's like $20 and $25. It's the audacity for me. How dare they? But this is good. This is a, this out of my entire collection, I think this is the most realistic chocolate fragrance that I own that literally smells like a chocolate chip cookie, like Cocoa Puffs. That's what it smells like. It smells like Cocoa Puffs. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Okay. So I'm going to read the notes. I may or may not put them on the screen, just depending on how much time I have. I try, I'm try. i trying to get content out for you guys. It, it, You know, but the accords are vanilla, warm and spicy, chocolate, sweet, powdery, musky, amber balsamic. And the notes are vanilla, milk chocolate, white musk, cinnamon, spicy notes, sandalwood, amber, mirth, and rose. And the milk chocolate in this is so delicious and i think the rest of these either have dark chocolate or like cocoa pods this or cacao however y'all want to pronounce it listen i'm gonna stay in my lane but the milk chocolate is milking and it's chocolating and it's delicious and oh my goodness like seriously for this to be as cheap and it lasts y'all it lasts for this to be as cheap as it is as it is you love it. Like, I don't know too many people who dislike this fragrance. Like, it's a fan fave, especially on TikTok. It gets the girls going. The cinnamon in here is rich, but it's not overpowering cinnamon. It, it's not like Angel Share or Invite Only. It's not that type of cinnamon, but it's definitely there. The sandalwood, there's definitely a woody dry down. And, of course, that rose and that musk give it that powderness. But the powderiness isn't bad. It's not bad. And I, I'm really digging this. I, now, this next one is a cheapy and not so goody, in my personal opinion. I paid like $13 for this on Amazon. And I kind of regret buying it. But again, I'm not one of them people that like to return stuff. So, it's just been sitting in my collection collecting dust. This is Chocolates by Sergio. What's, what's this man name? Sergio Nero. And this is $13 off Amazon. This is the EDT. This is a different, and I think I don't like it just because it doesn't last long. Like once it, I spray it, it's gone. But this is a different take. It's very, very light, like extremely light. And that's why I said the, the EDT is really ED10. So this has some citrus notes, freshia, freesia, bergamot, violet, orange blossom caramel, chocolate, musk, and vanilla. So I think in the opening, I definitely pick up the bergamot citrus note situation. And I very much so pick on the powderness. The violet is definitely powdering in here. Mm -hmm. And the caramel is really pretty, but yeah, there's no, there's nothing interesting about this fragrance, but I think it will work great as a layering piece. And I have, I talk junk, but I got a dent in it. So, I mean, I do grab this simply because I don't, I don't have to waste my money. Especially if I bought something and I knew I should have returned it and I didn't. I'm going to make sure I wear it. So, 
it's not a fan fave of mine, but if you need a little, mm, like, I think if you think Choco Must is too much and you want something chocolatey, wear this to layer. Because it ain't going to last long. It, it'll do what it need to do for, for the moment. It's for the moment. Like, you wear this to go to the to the mailbox and come back in the house. Starbucks meets YSL. Black Opium Extreme. Baby, I thought that I was in love with Black Opium, but when I got my nose on this, it changed the game. It changed the game. And I still, don't get me wrong, Black Opium is still that girl will forever be that girl. But when I smelled the Extreme version, when it came out, it was only available online at Ulta. No other store had it. And I just bought it, like, whatever. Like, it was nothing. And when I got my hands on this, I said, oh, baby. I don't even drink coffee. I don't I don't drink coffee, but I will go to Starbucks to drink this. Like this this right here is so good. It's so good. Whoa. Whew. Okay. So let me hop into these accords real quick so then we can talk about it. So warm spicy coffee, cacao, vanilla, white floral patchouli, sweet woody balsamic. I write in the notes, top notes, coffee, cacao, middle notes, jasmine, sunbok, orange blossom, base notes, bourbon, vanilla, and patchouli. Hold on. Is this black opium extreme? Yeah, it is. Okay, I thought it had some, something else in there, but it doesn't. Black opium extreme, that cacao note in it just amplifies what was needed in the original like i think people if this was the original people would appreciate black opium more because i feel like now that i've smelled this black opium is pretty basic but i would never say that okay i would never just because you heard me say it i would never say that because black up oh, she's still that girl and i still wear her okay i wear her more than this because she's for the occasion but this is good it literally smells like you walked into starbucks for real like you went and got i don't again i don't like coffee so i don't know what y'all be a mocha latte whatever express i don't know whatever it smells like in starbucks that's what that's what this is giving it's like hot chocolate and coffee mixed, if that makes sense. Like, that's what it smells like. Ooh, y'all. It's so good. And the white florals in here are really pretty. Like, I don't know what white florals are in here. Oh, Jasmine, girl. <laughs> um, I, like, I pick up, I think orange and cho chocolate are two notes that go hand in hand. So if you're looking for something to layer with a chocolate, fragrance look for something with oranges or orange blossom because they go hand in hand i don't know about eating chocolate covered oranges but in fragrances they do what they need to do but the orange blossom in here really pulls for sure for sure for sure i like the jasmine i mean i guess like it's in there but i definitely pick up on the orange blossom and the patchouli and the dry down. i think that may be what turns people away i don't know if black opium has patchouli in it and i'm too lazy to look it up because i'm my phone is literally probably on 10 percent, and i still got like seven more fragrances to get through for y'all but i think that the patchouli might be what turns people off away from this but y'all it's good and i love it and i don't care what y'all say she is the moment I gotta put a celebrity fragrance in here. I don't really, I don't own many celebrity fragrances. I don't know why, but I don't. Mainly Ariana Grande, like, and like two from Rihanna. But when I found out that Billie Eilish had came out with a fragrance, actually, let me stop lying because I don't really know anything about Billie Eilish. When I saw the bottle, I fell in love. It was more, I bought this more for the bottle rather than what it smelled like because I had no idea. I just, Again, the same with Black Opium Extreme. It was only available online at Ulta. Because the shipping was too much if you bought it from Billie Eilish's little site. So I waited until it was available at 
Ulta. So when it was online, they only had the big bottle. So I got the biggest bottle for what, $68. And look at this, this is sexy. Like, and it's, it got weight to it. Y'all, my chair's squeaking, I'm sorry. It just, uh, it's irritating me. But this, the bottle, get into the bottle with, with the signature, like, hello. It got weight to it and it's stunning. Do you hear me? So, vanilla, sweet and spicy, warm, spicy, cacao, amber, and powdery, and the noose. Play with your mama, not me, friend Gretzica. I need you to work. I got I got fragrances to review. All right, so there's sugar, red berries, mandarin orange, vanilla, cacao, spicy notes, rose, tonka bean, amber, musk, and woody notes. So this is a powdery chocolate. It's very much so powdery. And people say they smell the red berries. It's not, it's not giving red berries. Maybe it is red berries, and I just don't know what red berries smell like. I don't know, but I, I ain't seen them. I'm definitely picking up the sugar and the mandarin orange in the open. It's very sweet and like not toothachey, but it, I, yeah. The tonka bean is what's giving it the powderiness and the dry down. And it's so pretty. Like this is my one of my favorite bedtime fragrances. And I didn't think that I had as much of a thing. I didn't think I was really wearing this, but look at this vent. I'm shocked. I re your girl been using this up, and I didn't even know it. I really didn't, cause a lot of my first, like celebrity fragrances I don't wear often, cause I be forgetting I have them. Especially like my Rihanna, she gets left behind. I have to really make myself grab her. And it's not that they don't smell good. It's as my nose has developed. Um. There are certain things like I'm looking for in a fragrance now that some of these lower end fragrances aren't giving me. And it's not even, it has, has nothing to do with niche. Like some designer fragrances be slapping, but there's like something like my nose has matured so much since I've smelled so many different fragrances that I'm not in the mood to just buy hype fragrances. I need something that resonates with me that just makes me like, Ooh, and uh, yeah, they haven't been giving, but this right here, baby, it gives every single time, every single time. So yeah, this is Billie Eilish or Eilish by Billie Eilish. And even if you don't like the fragrance, I think everyone, just because this is a statement, like this is decor for your house, get the small bottle for like $30 and just put this in your house somewhere. I'm sure you got some in your house that matches this the aesthetics of this and that's that's it all right this next fragrance it's gonna be real quick because i can't find notes on it i looked on perfomo.net and i looked on friend Gretica and they weren't saying anything but this is rose chocolate can y'all see i'm sorry about my chair y'all rose chocolate by what's it called um gourmand beauty urban outfitters same situation but i got this at tj maxx for 12.99 bada boom bada bang and this is so delicious and it is like milky and it does kind of spray a little milky on your skin so if you got on like certain colors i recommend not spraying it on your clothes but this is a beautiful rosy chocolate, like chocolate covered roses, y'all. And what I layer this, what's it called? Uh, ro roses latte, whipped rose latte. I don't know. It's a Bath and Body Works that smell like roses and chocolate. I layer those two together, baby. Like a cheap combo that really hits. And I've gotten compliments wearing this little thing, even by itself. Mmm. Yeah, it's so like it's real good, and I think if you can find this at TJ Maxx, you need to get you need to get it. Mm -hmm. I should have got two bottles. That's how good it is. I should have got two bottles. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. I, like there's not much to say about this. It literally smells like chocolate covered roses. There may be like a little vanilla in here. Maybe like something with milk. Like there's a lot of tonic, and that's probably why it has that milky color oh sorry y'all hold on 
And that's probably why it has that milky color because it has like some type of latonic situation going on. But it's nice, it's pretty. Y'all, I couldn't do a, a chocolate video and not talk about chocolate greedy. How dare I? What? <laughs> and y'all didn't think I would own that in my collection. Girl, bye. Listen, now, I, I may get a little hate after I finish talking about it, but I thought I really loved this until I got chocolate, uh, Choco Musk. Once I got Choco Musk, this really was watered down to me. But let me, we're going to talk about it. So, the Accords, vanilla, cacao, sweet, spicy, or warm, spicy, sweet coffee, citrus powder, and fruit notes. And the notes are cacao, vanilla, tonka bean, coffee, dried fruits, and bitter orange. See, I told y'all, orange, we didn't have citrus notes, we didn't have mandarin orange, we've had bitter orange. So, orange is definitely the move when it comes to chocolate. A lot of these fragrances are going to have orange and cacao or chocolate or something of that sort. So, when I smelled this originally, it was everything. It smelled so delicious. And it still smells good. Don't get me wrong. Maybe I may like it more today. You know, I haven't picked it up in a while because it's been hot, okay? Yeah, okay. Not, now I know why I have not been leaning towards this. So, at first, I was like, this smells like the cocoa puffs and stuff. But once I smelled Choco Musk, I said this smells a little artificial. Like, this smells like they made chocolate in a lab versus Choco Musk. Mm. Versus Choco Musk smells like they extracted or make, like use chocolate milk or something like that. It's a big difference. And I may be the only one that smells that, but it smells a little synthetic to me now that I've smelled Choco Musk. But if I had never smelled Choco Musk, you wouldn't have been able to tell me that this wasn't real chocolate or cacao. Like that, I, you know, my thoughts have changed. But like I said, it's still a good fragrance. And I wore this to work one time, and baby, one of them, one of the men, they was like, "What do you have on, girl? You smell so good." And I'm also gonna do a video on the fragrances that men have complimented me on at work because the I don't go anywhere else, and I work with a lot of men, so I get so many compliments. So I wear something different almost every day to see which ones are getting me compliments, but. This was one for sure. It really was. So if you're looking for a compliment getter, hey, by by all means. But I just feel like what I thought I would love about this, I'm no longer loving, but it's still a good fragrance. And I bought, this is a fragrance that I would rebuy for sure. For sure. I would definitely rebuy this. But it's not giving what I thought it would have gave when I since I bought this. Like if they ever get rid of this and stop selling it. Like, I probably can train my nose to make this smell real again. Maybe not. But, yeah, those are my thoughts. Invite only, baby. Y'all already know this is, like, my favorite fragrance in my, in my collection. It's up there. Like, my entire collection. This is probably definitely in my top three. Y'all. This right here, it, it slaps every single time. So, we have the Accords of Sweet, Amber, Warm, Spicy, Tobacco, Cherry, Cinnamon, woody, nutty, honey, vanilla. So, this is like chocolate covered cherries with some honey, some cinnamon, some spice. Like all the deliciousness in, in a bottle. And this is unisex, so you and your man can smell good together, okay? So, listen up. The, the, the tobacco leaf, the sour cherry, honey, chocolate, hazelnut. Cinnamon, May Rose, Damask Rose, Citrus Leaf, Amber, Vanilla, Oud, Benzoin, Simpro Oil, Patchouli, Sandalwood, and Musk. Hello? Hello? Do, don't that sound delicious? Don't, 
don't this sound like a snack of life okay this my favorite note in here is somewhere between the honey and the cinnamon but the i do get the chocolate in the opening and the hazelnut like it it's like a nice blend like i can smell almost every note in here but it's still blended well together like you get a hint of the the sour cherry you get the tobacco you get the smokiness from the tobacco leaf you get the nuttiness from the hazelnut you get the richness from the chocolate but that honey and that cinnamon is prominent of course you get the rose so it has that fresh floralness in it um citrus leaf i don't know i mean yeah, I don't know. Vanilla, of course. That amber, it's in the name, Invite Only Amber in 23. And the dry down, that amber be amber and honey. The oud in here is soft, but it's so pretty. The sandalwood gives it a, a tad bit of creaminess. The benzoin helps with the amber. Those resin notes, it's it doing what it needs to do. The patchouli, it... It, it, ain't, it ain't bad, it ain't bad. You know, patchouli's hit or miss, like I mentioned probably three times already in this video. It's hit or miss, but it's it's hitting this time. And the must, like, y'all, you, you can't ask for a better combination. This is, Mona, Mona, girl, if you didn't make a fragrance, you made this one. This next one, I just feel like kind of collects dust in my collection, because I can't tell you the last time I picked it up, but I don't feel like it's, it's sellable not in a bad way but i can't i don't know what else to do with it but for it's just to collect dust but this is choco i mean cacao and cashmere by clinique and i i like it but i just forget i have it it, it just literally sits in the back well see what happens is this always gets knocked over and it irritates me so i move them like to the back of my collection and you know the stuff that ends up in the bag gets forgotten so yeah i don't pick this up it, like i've had this for almost two years and <laughs> this is all i've done with this literally i'm gonna try to my best to finish this but i wouldn't be rebuy it personally um the main accords are going to be cacao vanilla musk powder vanilla amber spicy notes sweet soft spicy floral and animalic and the notes, you have cacao, vanilla, musk, amber, solar notes, pink pepper, honeysuckle, and jasmine. So, okay, I think I may have to take a little break because I can't smell anything. Like, there's a lot going on. I've been testing fragrances all day. If you see my TikTok videos with my hair, like with this outfit on then um you know that i smelled a lot of fragrances but at this point yeah and it's also like three o'clock and it's 3 19 in the morning and it's time to go to bed y'all <laughs> i'm trying to give y'all all i have left but i ain't got much <laughs> but anyway like i the spicy what attracted me to this originally was not even the chocolate it was the pink pepper that spicy it's something about pink pepper baby i may have to do a pink pepper video i got a few fragrances with a little pink pepper and honey don't don't sleep on pink pepper she does she does what she needs to. this is supposed to smell like baked treats it does not smell like baked treats baked treats baked treats i would even say baked treats these and um another fragrance that doesn't have chocolate but it does give me chocolate vibes fresh cream warm cashmere by philosophy smells like a baked treat this just smells like a spicy chocolate to me um the solar notes i don't smell that like i feel like i'm not smelling half of the notes that are in here all i smell is the cacao the vanilla the musk and the pink pepper i'm not getting any white florals any softness this is like spicy i mean it dries now soft but it that pink pepper is really pulling but yeah it's it's an okay fragrance like nothing up yeah i don't think you should buy it like personally 
it was 25 i mean if you want to spend the 25 dollars, do what you got to do but yeah once it's gone it's gone it's not coming back and that's just that Edge of ECOs by Dior is the number. She's that girl. Okay, let me tell y'all something. When I bought this, I felt so luxurious. I did a whole unboxing because I ordered this straight from the Dior site. And I feel rich and bougie just unboxing this. And this is the, I think, 50 mil or maybe the 30 mil. I don't know. It's one or the other. It doesn't tell me on the bottom. But I bought this little bit. That's the tiniest one that they had and it came with so many free goodies like i got oud isfahan i got um iraq i think that's what it's called i got a little little mini of that baby i felt so bougie unboxing so if you want luxury and you want to get free samples order direct from the sites i know we try to save money but Sometimes it's beneficial to order directly from those sites. And this was worth every penny. And it was $100, so it wasn't like I was spending much. It was just the experience of unboxing. And the wrapping paper and all of that was, you know, moniker. It was just so luxurious. But, yes, we're here to talk about what's in the bottle, not all that other riffraff. Okay, so this is sexy, y'all. This is a gourmand that I did not know I needed. And it is so good. Okay, so we have sweet vanilla, amber, spicy notes, um, cacao, aromatic, caramel, cherry, latonic, and nutty. And the notes read do, 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 do. lavender, mint, bergamot, sour cherry, jasmine, freesia, tonka bean, vanilla, cocoa, cacao pods, caramel, praline, benzoin, milk, leather, sandalwood, and cedar. Okay, first of all, the mint in here. I love it. The mint is so pretty. And this is the only fragrance that I think that I own that has mint in it. No, I think Princess by Killian has mint in it as well. But the mint in here with the lavender, it, it's just so pretty. I can't really describe how I feel about that combination, but it's just something about it. But as you continue with this and you let it settle into your skin, you're getting that tart, sour cherry with a, a burst of freshness. Like, and I believe it's coming from the freesia. And it also has like some powderness to this. And I think the freesia for sure is making it powdery in the tonka bean. But it also has those darker elements like i smell the leather but it's not overbearing like men colognes how they have that leather note in it it can kind of do too much the sandalwood makes it very creamy but also a little powdery i don't really smell the the lactonicness from the milk but it's in there for sure and i'm trying to pick up what spicy note this is and i'm, I'm i feel like it's probably the mint that's giving it that spicy note um the cedar the woodiness and the dry down all of it's so beautiful it's, this is a powerful fragrance and you do not do not do too much don't spray too much do not spray too much because you will choke a room out one one to two to three spray no more than three sprays i mean if you want to put an extra four spray in your head that's it do not do not do that don't do that to yourself because um baby they will kick you out You'll get complimented, but you're going to get kicked out on your way out. Girl, you smell so good, but on you don't too much. You got to go. Last but not least, we have an icon. I pledge allegiance to the good girl. Yes, she's a baddie. And y'all, I have, I try so hard not to pour. I feel like at some point I'm going to break this. I, I feel like I need to sell this and then downsize because I hate the so the big bottles because you have to spray it like this and I want the way that it's shaped I want to pull this off so bad like the the smaller one so yeah I think I'm gonna sell this and then I'm gonna get a smaller bottle because I do love this fragrance but the big bottles are so annoying like I gotta reach my hand all the way up here to spray it and it's, just, it's a hassle but anyway 
let's get into these notes. The white floral, sweet, swarm, spicy, vanilla, cacao, amber, tuberose, woody, almond, and powder. This is one of the most beautiful fragrances I have ever smelled. Like the white florals are so pretty in this. And then you get the powderness in here, the almond, the coffee, like all of those good, delicious notes in here. So let's read almond, coffee, bergamot, lemon, tuberose, jasmine, sunblock, orange blossom, orris, Bulgarian rose, tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere wood. Cinnamon, patchouli, and cedar. So there's some, there's some, the notes are noting. The notes are noting. I don't know why I keep saying that. Like something wrong with me, y'all. It's time to go to bed. But I just love, this is one of the few fragrances where tuberose does something to me. It, it really does. And I think the tuberose is a great addition with the vanilla and the Jasmine sunblock. That I'm y'all. I'm trying to press through. I'm getting so sleepy. <laughs> it is almost four o'clock in the morning, and my body's like my body winding now. I'm winding now. So y'all bear with me while I try to put my all into this last fragrance. <laughs> okay, so the almond first of all in the opening is there, then it's gone. Then you start picking up the coffee notes, and then you instantly get the beautiful white florals but i think what's also helping the white floral is the the lemon in here the lemon is lemoning and it's doing what it needs to do but when it dries down it's powder straight up powder baby in the most beautiful way but you that praline too i definitely smell the praline gives it a soft sweet creaminess to it that is delicious the caramel no there's not caramel but you know care praline kind of caramel a little bit sometimes but yeah i yeah this chocolate fragrance the chocolate not too heavy but it's layer like the cacao <sighs> whatever <sighs> cacao I, it does what it needs to do it, it's needed for the fragrance but yeah guys because i'm tapped out y'all i am tapped out thank you guys so much for sticking to me while I became delirious in the middle of the video. Like I tried real hard, but um, I'm done. I'm done for tonight. It is almost four o'clock in the morning and I just had to make sure I recorded the video. Granted, I did just wake up from a nap, but I think it was more of a go to the bathroom real quick type of nap, but I decided to record content since I was awake and I kind of regret it. So I'm about to go back to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you follow me on social media because I have a lot of good videos to share with you guys. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Good night. Good night.